Hello and welcome to Archaeologists Anonymous, your source to get your quick archaeological fix. On today's episode, we'll be counting down the top five theories on the origins of agriculture. Let's dig into it. The agricultural revolution is one of the most important moments in the history of our illustrious species. Agriculture is why we have sedentary civilization as we know it today. The history of agriculture is really amazing because agriculture started around the same time around the globe. Modern humans are like, you know, hundreds of thousands of years old. So it's pretty amazing that like within a few thousand year window, we all developed agriculture in those places around the world. You know, depending on where you were, you might be farming different stuff like uh, wheat or corn or rice. But, you know, in all these places, we developed farming. Okay, so why should you care about the origins of agriculture? So agriculture is basically why we have our current society as it is. Agriculture, since it's one place, supports sedentary society, so like people living in one place. Even if you're someone who like travels a lot and moves from city to city, you're still, you know, operating within a sedentary civilization. Back then there was this whole like <laughs> agricultural civilization versus nomadic civilization thing, but nowadays the agricultural civilizations have kind of prevailed. There are only 30 to 40 million nomadic people in the world still. And while 30 to 40 million people might sound like a lot, that's actually fewer people than are on the smallest US territory, the Northern Mariana Islands. So the odds are, you watching this video are in a sedentary, agriculture-based civilization. But were agriculture-based civilizations like us better off? There's this really interesting article by Jared Diamond about how, like, first off, when agriculture really got started, all of the people living in agricultural societies, like, had lower lifespans, they worked harder, you know, less free time, worse health, so it actually was initially kind of bad <laughs> to be in an agricultural society. But, as you can see today, you know, agricultural societies have prevailed. All right, let's count down the theories of why this whole agriculture thing happened in the first place. Number one, Gordon V. Child's Oasis Hypothesis. No, not that oasis. Okay, so basically the idea is, you know, tens of thousands of years ago, you know, picture you're in Mesopotamia, and the climate suddenly starts getting warmer and warmer and warmer, which means the areas that you can, you know, hunt and gather and forage for food get fewer and fewer as, you know, more places turn into like barren desert because it's getting hot, right? So child is basically like, okay, so if the places that you can get food are diminishing, you're gonna have to get more out of those places. Like they've gotta be more efficient. So the idea is you gotta develop agriculture to maximize those green spaces. So basically you gotta work with what you got. Number two the population pressure hypothesis. This is pretty similar to the Oasis hypothesis, but by this point we had done some climate data, so we found out that the whole, like, the earth getting hotter thing never really happened, so whoosh, bye Oasis. So instead, archaeologists came up with the population pressure hypothesis. So basically it was, you know, the human population was getting so big that we could no longer sustain ourselves off hunting and gathering. So again, we sort of had to maximize use of the land. It's really hard to sustain like a huge group of hunter gatherers is the idea. So you've got to settle down and do farming to be able to sustain everyone. Since this is all about like maximizing efficiency, this is another one of those, you got to work with what you got. Another hypothesis archaeologists came up with was the edge hypothesis. And no, the edge hypothesis was not that goths started agriculture. So the edge hypothesis is basically like, imagine this giant fertile space, sort of in a circle. You've got a bunch of people in the middle and they're doing great because they're like in the fertile space. They got all the food they want. But the people on the edge of the fertile space, you know, they're suffering. They don't have as much surface area. So they need to turn to agriculture to maximize use of the land. And yep, this is another you gotta work with what you got theory. Theory of agriculture number four, the social hypothesis. This hypothesis was made by Barbara Bender in the 70s, and it's very interesting. So she's saying that there's like a bunch of local groups and the chieftains are trying to like flex on each other, basically, right? So what they do is they invite each other to feasts and they'll be like, look at how much more food I've got. I can control so many more resources than you. But like they don't say it, right? It's just one of those subtle like, so yeah, 
The social hypothesis is basically that we developed agriculture to make more food so that you could flex easier on other chiefs. Gotta love humanity, we've been flexing on each other for tens of thousands of years. And number five, what I call the I want that hypothesis. So there's a bunch of theories out there that we did agriculture to get a food or drink that we really wanted. What was one of those things that we really wanted? Alcohol, of course. So basically the idea is we did agriculture to get enough stuff to ferment to make alcohol. And if you look at the map for where alcohol developed around the world, it looks suspiciously similar to the agriculture map. You know, not a bad theory. The earliest evidence for alcohol production we have is from China 9,000 years ago, so you know, it's pretty old. Unfortunately for the alcohol hypothesis, it's not quite old enough. It started a little after agriculture, so it's probably not the reason that we did agriculture. A much better example, though, is bread. The oldest evidence for bread is from that site, and it's 14,400 years old. That's 4,000 years before the accepted date for agriculture. In my mind, bread is the likeliest food or drink that made us make the leap to agriculture. Just gotta get that bread, you know what I'm saying? There are, of course, as always, more theories out there than just these five. These are just my five favorite. And of course, with anything historical, it's usually more complex than just one explanation. So it's actually probably a bunch of different things at once that explain why we did agriculture. That's it for this episode of Archaeologists Anonymous. Thank you for watching. Please watch another video, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Today is gonna be the day that we're gonna plant the seeds anew. By now we've learned how to make some bread for you. Now don't you leave or don't you know? We're sedentary now with cows.